Hey guys, welcome to the desert in Utah. So today I'm doing a little test, running four RVs off my uh, power station in my RV. I'm running that one right now. That one. That one's mine, I'm running that one. And then I just plugged my cousin in over there. So I'll show you the wiring we have to run all of these. So this is a large 10 gauge extension cord going into my RV, the output of my RV. And then I've got the splitter and here is the 30 amp plug feeding into this RV. And then here we've got a 30 amp plug going into this RV too. I'll show you where this yellow one goes. This plugs into my RV plug here. So people can plug into me when I go camping. It's pretty nice. And I've got another one over here. <laughs> So this one is my other cousin. So they just barely plugged in, but whoever plugs into me, I tell them to turn their uh, fridge to propane because those fridges that run on propane or electricity, when they're running on electricity, they just like use tons of power. My cousin's RV fridge here is running on electricity. So here's the grow watt power system. I got a whole video on installing this. Almost 500 watts coming out of the system right now. The battery is currently at 98%. It was at 30% this morning when I plugged in the RV number three, and then it just it's topped itself off. Let's turn off their uh, electric fridge and see how much power that's saving. So, we'll... so now we're only using 150, 170 watts. So that power is mostly going to running lights in all these RVs. Yeah, so this plug is running the two RVs. This plug's running one RV. It's kind of messy in here, but got this going around here, going to the output of this. And then this is my RV shore power plug. So, don't, so it's just easy, I just plug it into here. This is my shore power. This is my 48 volt battery. And I don't even have a 12 volt battery in this RV right now. My 12 volt battery is this. This is the 48 volt to 12 volt step down converter. And it steps all the power down. And uh, so this feeds all my 12 volt system. And I do have a fuse here that protects the conductor coming out of the battery, but I do need an extra fuse for this wire that uh, feeds into this. Here's my solar coming in. I can turn my solar panels off. I've just got one string of solar panels going in. But in an emergency, I could add another uh, five solar panels here, another five and another five, and it'll combine all of them if I wanted to have a lot of power on a shady day. And I can plug my house's critical sub-panel into my RV here. My RV can run my critical sub-panel in my house in case of an emergency. Okay. I we're gonna system. Yeah, his air conditioner is running. My uh, 120 volts is running the con uh, compressor so your 12 volt system should be running your fans and I think that's like 12 that's like 400 watts so it's actually quite a bit at least on mine so I'm gonna try and turn my air conditioner on so we have two air conditioners running oh great guys I'm who, gonna clean up in here who got in the popcorn Me. oh good quick give me a hug mm. oh good job what do you think good um, well, I saw it is 2.3 kilowatts all coming out of there. Running two air conditioners and three RVs. So in here is my smart shunt. This is measuring all of the power coming out of the battery itself. So I have a bunch of 12 volt uh, power coming out to run my fans and my air conditioner. So let me log into here and see what we got as far as power goes. Right now it is draining it at 1500 watts right now. Now remember, I do have solar coming in that's assisting in this watts of solar on the roof. It's four in the afternoon, so I'm only getting a thousand watts of solar coming in right now. I'm getting some assist from the solar. So one thing I wish I would have done as part of this system is add an extra outlet 
on like the back of the RV because my outlets are only on the front. So if I'm parked someone behind me and they want power, you could just plug into the back of me. Yeah, these Pumas, I've had a lot of problems with things breaking down in this specific RV. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get a different RV. If any of you have good suggestions, let me know. Yeah, I just found out that my jacks are stripped so I can't even hook, unhook my truck. And look at these shower heads. They're like, looks like they're bought from the dollar store. They do not work very good. Just no lock for the bathroom. My kids do not want to see me in the shower, that's for sure. They've been making these things for years. Like, do you just forget to add that? This RV is pretty roomy though. But yeah, it's been pretty fun camping with having other people plug in to my RV. It's pretty cool. But if you're interested in purchasing any of these items, I'm going to put a link to like the full kit in the description. And if you use any of the affiliate links, as well as the discount codes that I have, email me your order number and I will ship you some extra solar items I have hanging around. Thanks a lot. We'll uh, see you guys in the next video.